Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hey, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want, no pressure. Uh, today is... <laughs> oh god, anyway. I'm gonna be doing a day in the life of a college student. I've always wanted to do these videos, but one, vlogging is weird. <laughs> Today is actually my last day officially going to class, per se. So I was like, if you gonna do this, it's not what Neville says. Cause, um, yeah, so I just have one class. Today's Friday. Usually I have two classes, but my second class, it's usually like from 3 to 8. But the it'll be like okay, it's like three to six and then six to eight. But the six to eight class is now finished because, as I said, this is it's wrapping up the final weeks of school. So I don't know because I don't really like the teacher I'm going to see. <laughs> but it is what it is. Pretty sure nothing's gonna happen, so it'll just be you know, one of those things you look back on and you're just like, wow, I was in school. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. What do people do in these things? Like, should I show like my OOTD? Is that like a thing? I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. I have a couple of things I need to do before I get to school. It's actually pretty chill right now because all of my assignments are... Hand, we're handed in like all in the same week, which was the time I was trying to film the first time, but eh. I have some laundry to do and I'm hungry and I need to put some stuff in my planner because if I don't, I won't realize how close my exams are and then I'll never start studying. <laughs> uh, and since I have all this free time, usually I'm such a crammer. Because, like, exams and assignments are usually not this far apart, but God, God came through. I'm gonna make some food right now, and then I'm, like, looking at that laundry, and it's just, like, mm, doubtful. But we'll see. Ooh, child, okay. specifically with that teacher because I don't know she's a nice person it's just her evaluation techniques are a little bit annoying um, yeah but basically human resource management as it says everybody knows HR in um, businesses it's like that department where you hand in your resume where you where all of your resumes and you know, office disputes are handled and whatnot. So I guess this, the point of university, honestly, what I've been learning recently, well not recently, but what I've seen over the years, is a lot of the stuff that you learn in university are things that you know, but just like more in depth, you know, like you have quality classes, which 
if you were always a business student, which did I even say that? I'm a business student. This is the life of a college and for a business student. But yeah, if you've been doing business for a very long time, like I have, like throughout all of your school years, you know, you know the, the, the basics, you know what quality is, you know what HR is and management, all that kind of stuff. So like going to college and taking these classes that are just solely like usually in business quality is like a chapter but now you have in universities where it's a course like that's all that they're talking about is quality and you think that quality is just total quality management and you know <clears throat> the different tools like the kaizen and the benchmarking and then you go into a class like productivity and quality ma quality quality management and then you realize well mm, it's just more in-depth and this is more to it than you thought but most times it's not and the courses are just unnecessary and just a repetition of what you learned in high school but I mean you know I won't turn on a free credit <laughs> but yeah I don't think I've ever really focused on HR like that it was kind of just a free elective to be honest with you and if I'm being quite frank I thought it wouldn't have group work um, and that's really why I chose it because it fit into my schedule and it sounded like it didn't have group work but it had group work and it was alright but I just mm. if I had to choose again I mean I'd probably do the same thing because I got to learn a bit more of my, about myself I learn more about myself every time I do these courses that I'm uncomfortable with so if I had to choose to do it again I think I would just for the sake of learning and growing but this lady's class now and stop it awkward anyway so I'm gonna try and record that montage thing a lot of people do please do on the YouTubes but I wouldn't be surprised if it's views from the stomach because <laughs> badabush try to make it real artistic watch Obviously, <sighs> my class is over. I swear that class is such a drag. I don't know if you guys would want like a more in depth on like an experience, my experience of college. Like, comment down below if you do. Comment down below what yours were. If you are already out of college or if you're currently in college, like how has that that been going for you? Like I'd actually have been really interested in learning about the different school systems in different countries. So I'd be down. I'd be down to, to learn some stuff, you know. I could do one on like my experiences and how, what I did, like how I chose my courses and, you know, like stuff like that. Because I know it sounds very simple, which I thought it did too, until you actually have to do it and you're just like, oh, okay. Especially doing courses that you don't know what to expect is very annoying. It's very annoying. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm not really going to be doing anything else. 
pertaining to school. That's all I have for you guys today. If you haven't already give this video a thumbs up, you can please go ahead and do that. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you want, press the notification button while you're there. So you know whenever I post a video. And yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Now.